Hi, welcome to a C-Sharp tutorial. In this video, we're going to create an application called the Word Counter app. You can see it on the screen here. We're going to parse a file and count the words in it. So you should be looking at this tutorial if you're interested in learning how to use text files, looking to how to use arrays and lists, how to work with the list box, and how to sort things. So in this application, there are three main controls that we're going to work with. First of all, a text box. This will, in, this will contain the entire uh, contents of a text file. Then we're going to have a list box, which will be used to split up all the words in the text file and show them in a column. And then the third one is called a list view. So this control has two columns. The first column will contain the word, and then the second column is the frequency that that word occurs in the article. So you can see that the common words at the top are like the, and, of, to, in, and this is an article about Abraham Lincoln, so Lincoln shows up in the top five. So that's our word counter app. So we're going to split this up into three parts. In part one, we're going to take a text file. As you can see here, this article about Abraham Lincoln was taken directly from Wikipedia. And the goal here is to load the text file from a program. And we're going to put it into the text box. So this will be the simplest part of the application. We're just transferring text from a file into the application. Now the second part gets a little bit more complex. We're going to create a list. And so we use the list box control. We're going to split the words that are in the text file. And each individual word is going to take a line in the list box. And so it'll be a very long list if you have a big article. Now, we're going to display these, but not in any particular order until we uh, have the sorting option turned on. Now, there will be duplicates. In part three, we're going to have a word counter. And so we will take the two column view now, a list view. So the idea is to count each word in the list. And then we're going to display that next to a frequency number. So this will be the most complex part of the application and we'll save that for part three. So if this is interesting to you and you want to learn about lists and arrays and sorting and text files and how to use these controls, then let's see what those tutorials will do for you. Let's get started. 